What do you think healthcare gets wrong about automation or the concept of automation? Well, gosh, I think there are a lot of things that go wrong with automation in healthcare, but um, unfortunately, I think probably one of the fundamental things that healthcare gets wrong is it doesn't realize that there are very fundamental, manual, repeatable, standardized processes that they have very, very high value talent taking on every day that they're not automating. First thing that they try to do is they go to the very back end to try to automate it. You know, let's like try to replace all those people who are way in the back room doing horribly mundane tasks. And I mean, not to say we shouldn't automate that work, we should, but I think that you really also have to automate what is happening and undermining the patient clinician experience. I mean, let me share a story with you. My father uh, was a cancer patient and we brought him in. Um, of course, the, the his medical oncologist ordered for a port to be placed. He had the port placed. Two weeks later, we went in for what was his second infusion. Now, my father also had a total laryngectomy, so it was not easy for him to communicate. We checked him in and they took him back to be prepped for his infusion, I said, okay, I'm going to go around the corner, grab a sandwich. I'll come back. I come back and they have placed an IV in his arm and he has a working port. And literally the reason that they did that was because someone had not checked a box in the electronic health record to say he had a port. And because my father, it wasn't easy for him to communicate. And, you know, he was 90 and he wasn't going to question. He's of a generation who don't question what happens. <laughs> he didn't say anything. And I went nuts, you know, and I, and I, like I said, pushed and learned. And I found out this was the issue. It was completely based on how the EHR was functioning. To me, that's the perfect occasion for automation in healthcare and the perfect occasion to automate a clinician and patient experience for the better. There's no reason why when in the EMR, why wouldn't a bot going in there or something going in there then trigger a look at that flow and then make a flag happen so that on his chart, when he came in next, he has a port. Healthcare misses those occasions when they think about automating only the back office processes. And they don't think about automating so much of that, that administrative redundancy that is, is plaguing the workflow. You know, I, I literally think back to that Hemonk department and there were so many opportunities for work for improvement in there. And now I think, wow, what, what was probably the first thing they did? They created another checklist so that the nurse had to make sure that they, you know, manually did a check, which is not right answer when you can have automation do that. You know, I appreciate that example, and, and thank you for sharing that, that story. You can imagine how frustrating that is as a family member. And I think you're, you're calling out a really interesting point, which is that automation maybe isn't just about doing work in place of a human being, but in many cases, it's isn't doing work more accurately or to a higher degree of quality than humans can do, because humans have an intrinsic error rate and often machines are are much more accurate is is that is that a fair statement in your in your mind absolutely um you know another uh, what it reminds me of is when back in the days when i was working on the adoption of crimson the biggest pushback we would always get to crimson is well garbage in garbage out the data going in is so bad the data coming out can't be giving us any insight well, that again creates significant opportunity to say, well, let's use automation to automate that intake of data on the front end, because if we automate that intake, then you're missing all of those opportunities for keystroke and error. Uh, another story um, that I'll share, and you know, I know you're very familiar with this, but you know, this whole idea of uh, the insurance card picture. Patients go to the doctor and they give them their insurance card and someone scans it in. You think, oh, great, it's automated. But what they don't realize is someone in the background is keying in that data. And that is a missed opportunity. There are, and you know better than I, machine learning techniques that can read that data, turn it into text, put it into the chart in the right spot, and put it into the record in the right spot so that the system flows much more easily. Let's think about automation so that it improves the experience for the patient and the clinician. And let's also think about automation such that you're getting the right data into the system you know, at the front end.